Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rugby Revolution. The third round of the Six Nations is finished and it started to get a little bit more exciting. We're back with the top 10 things for you to take away from the weekend. First of all, France beat Wales 19-10 at home in Cardiff. And although we've seen a change in French personnel, the team still doesn't have an identity. They're playing quite average rugby and just sucking opponents down to their level. Despite this, there is still a lot of talent in the French side, giving Guy Noves a nice building block to work forwards over the next four years. Wales' basic ball skills need to improve if they're ever going to threaten the best teams in the world. Remember when they couldn't score against 14-man Australia in the World Cup? Nothing has changed since then. If Wales had extra distributors at 12 and 13, they would probably score nearly double the points they do now. On to their second game of the weekend and Scotland finally ended their run of defeats, beating Italy away in Rome. Scotland's willingness to throw the ball around and actually play some rugby really paid off and they had possibly their best Six Nations performance in a good few years. All of Scotland's players put in a huge performance, in particularly number 15 Stuart Hogg, who when he's at his best is amongst the best fullbacks in the world. On to the third and final game of the weekend and England beat Ireland 21-10 at home in Twickenham. Ireland's attack was far too one-dimensional and is very reliant on a wraparound move that everyone else has worked out by now. Joe Schmidt may be in big trouble after a pretty inept performance from his struggling Irish team, especially as the defending champions are now sitting in fifth place. Although England aren't reinventing the wheel, their defence is utterly sublime and they seem to have a strategy for beating each team. A Grand Slam win looks very much on. However, there may still be a test for England as the sides they've come up against so far haven't really put them under pressure consistently. That's it for this week guys, be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below with any of your thoughts on the weekend's games and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the action. I've been Robbie and I'll see you next time. So I guess we have to start with looking forward to, to hopefully an exciting week of, of Six Nations. Hopefully being the operative word I think. <laughs> <laughs>